What's wrong? Mio? I hear a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Levnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means.
Monica, can I ask you something? Just keep following Shania, will you? We'll talk more later. Topographical info update. What a brilliant contraption. No wonder nobody's ever found it. <laughs> You'd better save some of that surprise. inside the great sword all along save a bit of surprise i said huh? this is new so gernica that's that wrinkly guy, back then. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city? That's where the elevator's taking us. You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those? Put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? We'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros blood. Just what are you? So high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it. Certainly takes your breath away. Can you save your observations for later? Come on!
that bonnet digging up all? Kevis Castle has got nothing on this dizzying height. You're telling me. Just looking down makes me feel faint. Um, my head kind of hurts. Senna, maybe we could uh, all walk yeah. closer to it you. It happens when you gain altitude fast. Don't worry, it'll subside. Entrance is up ahead. Okay, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing! This is the... city. It sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes... They look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. Okay, colony info updated. It's bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Uroboros. Uroboros, yeah. So they're Ouroboros? And they're from Kevis. And Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. They could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey! Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Manana spy tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates. You happy that you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right. 
That's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose them. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, all right then. Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. Always nice to have more friends. I'll introduce you to them another time. You, um, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. It kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives, securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. Now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. Let me check. Always nice to have more friends. I hope everyone's getting along. We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. <sighs> This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? I hope everyone's getting along. Hey, no. You know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? Aren't those... Cradles. Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, 
They must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius' shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh... Right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. I hope everyone's getting along. So we're born to fight, and then we die. Over, and over, and over. I can hardly believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt. This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? It's so teensy tiny, but it move. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Uh, uh, gently now.
She's so warm. Place one finger in her palm. Senna. <laughs> Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up! This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. Or it might be that you already do. 